Okay, so we've got some pipe insulation. I'm going to make the body of my fish about so long. You can cut this with a sharp knife or scissors. And we're going to cut it in half lengthways and then cut one of those halves in half again. So you end up with a quarter size piece. It's really easy to cut with a sharp knife. So these are going to be the upper and lower uh, spines and we have a couple. So we're going to join them to this central spine using a bit of tape. You could use sellotape, whatever you got. So I've wrapped that round at the front. That's going to be the head. And then I'm going to create my fish shape like that. And I'm going to leave a bit of extra at the back here. Something like that. So I'm going to join there and there. This will become the tail. Bamboo skewers. And we're going to begin the ribs going through to stop these flopping around. The joy of this foam stuff is you can just poke it straight in. So it's been cut thinner, quarter piece. And I'm going to join and go that. You can through into the bit. Okay, and then I've got uh, lollipop sticks and stirrers, coffee stirrers nicked from you know where. And to sort of thicken up the ribs or put ones in between, I'm going to put some alongside the skewers and then I'm going to have ribs in between as well. So the fish have got lots of bones. Same at the top. Use the piece that I'm cutting off to make the jaw. Okay, so I'm keeping it folded and I'm going to cut around like this. The eye socket so you could draw around your foam pipe. It's not a bad idea. Fold it a little bit, put a snip in, get your scissors in to avoid accident trying to poke it in. And I'm going to quickly cut these. I'm going to cut two eye sockets. And we also want to attach the whole body, the whole thing when it's done, to a bamboo so that we can carry it. And it's going to come up through here. Now, having this pipe or stick or whatever you decide to put in there will give you a bit of strength. If you don't have that, then this isn't strong enough on its own and it will tear. You'll have to muck around to find the hole. Find a little bit of scissors to be easier. Yeah, there it is. Follow that. is better than trying to fix straight into the foam. Okay. But then the 
jaws and the skull have got something solid to fix onto. The skull's going to go over there, over that bit of pipe. And one skewer. I'm going to drill a smaller hole. I'm going to poke a hole and I'm going to drill a hole through the pipe. And I'm going to use some metal, a little nail. This stuff is supposed to be tough. I'm going to go through there. Then I'm going to go through one side of the jaw. Then I'm going to go through the pipe. Out the other side. Then I'm going to go through the jaw. And then I'm going to go through the skull again. Stake all that in place. You could decide where you want it, or you can let it do, you can let it waggle. You could have another stick and operate its jaw. That would be quite nice. Uh, and then what you want to do is have it poke out enough either side. They've got fairly thin skulls, so you want to give it a bit of width. And I'm going to chop it. Now I'm going to put a bit of tape either end. This is for now, right? You could use a blob of glue from a glue gun. Using a little hacksaw blade, junior hacksaw blade. Cutting out little notches, can you see? Going in at an angle. Don't go in too far, or you'll cut it in half, or you'll expose the inside of the tube. These give it a bit more flexibility, make it look more like a vertebra. This is good because it's got the long blade you can slide out. Get a slightly nicer finish with the knife. If you put more in at the back here, you see it's making it more flexible already. So that's quite nice in terms of giving it a bit of uh, mobility and life.